Previously on MasterChef. Oh my god. Felix won the mystery box and took control. Oh my god. Of the elimination challenge and had one target. Monty's going home. Sorry, Felix, but she did nail it. Better luck next time. But in the end, Holly was sunk. It's Master Chef, not Master Bait. Tonight. The home cooks kick up their spurs and wrestle up grub for a posse of cowboys. Oh my god. That's a lot of freaking cowboys. Egos clash. If this fails, it's on her. They are big time bitches. And Christine Station Fire. goes up in flames. Can you help me? Oh my god. One team faces a pressure test with a heartbreaking finish. Wow. As one more Master Chef hopeful ends their journey. The time is done. <laughs> Sixty miles east of the Master Chef kitchen, the remaining eight home cooks have arrived at Norco, Horsetown, USA, where they'll face off in a team challenge of epic proportions. I don't know where we are, but there is an intense smell of cow manure. OMG! Here comes Gordon and Joe riding up all smooth and suave on two horses. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> Chef Ramsay looks really sexy on a horse. Yeah. Come on, big boy. Woo! Oh, oh. Howdy. Howdy, Chef. Howdy. In an hour and a half from now, 101 hungry cowboys will be galloping up here, and your job is to feed them. Oh, my God. I can tell you what cowboys like to eat. Beef. Yeah. In those wagons, you'll find amazing USDA choice New York strip and ribeye steaks, as well as fresh produce, all from Walmart. You'll be split into two teams. Each team will cook 101 thick steaks plus two sides. Each cowboy will eat some grub from the red team and the blue team. Then they'll hang a horseshoe for the team that served them their favorite meal. The first team to 51 votes will win. The losing team will face the dreaded MasterChef pressure test. Frank and Monty, the two of you had the best dishes in the last elimination test. So, obviously, you'll be team captains today. Time to pick your posses. I'm going to be the best team captain MasterChef has ever seen. Frank, you had the best dish of the elimination challenge, so you get to pick first. Well, the first person, she's my biggest competition, so I'd like to have that on my team, Becky. Becky, wow. Come over. Excellent. Monty. I want a team of underdogs. I relate to the underdogs. I am an underdog, and I feel like underdogs have fight. I admire this person's creativity in the kitchen. I'd like to choose Stacy. Stacy, wow. Ooh. Wow. The next person is going to be Josh. Ooh. Josh, wow. Monty, next pick. David Martinez. Wow. wow, wow. Look at you. Think, I mean, this pick, you're picking for both teams? Yeah. I'm not surprised that I'm near the bottom pick. Obviously, since I'm blind, it's difficult for me to get around, and that's definitely frustrating for me. Uh, if I have to come down to one, it's just because I've worked with her on a, on a team before. Gotta be Felix. Felix. Christine. Yes, Chef. Last pick again. Yes. On a personal front, you, for flavor profile, will be my first pick. Thank you, Chef. At this point, I want to prove myself to the entire team that I'm more than capable of being out in the field and, and cooking alongside the rest of them. Blue team, captain by Monty. Red team, captain by Frank. My team is literally the dream team today. They are people that are able to share ideas and work together as a team. Since the very beginning, we told you that MasterChef will be full of twists and turns. And here comes another one. In the real world, great chefs have to adapt and focus on delivering great dishes, even when they're working with people they don't necessarily have confidence in. Frank and Monty, both of you, please take a step forward. 
Take off your aprons. Oh. Now switch them. Oh my god, I knew it. And go and join your new teams. Get the f out of here right now, man. I just picked the best team and he's switching it off. I think my new team probably just hates the fact they got stuck with me as a team captain. You've got 90 minutes to prep and then one hour to serve 101 Cowboys. Treat these gorgeous steaks with the respect they deserve. Your time starts now. Good luck. Both teams have just 90 minutes before 101 Cowboys arrive. The red team has decided to cook a ribeye steak. Now they need to agree on their sides. I have a sweet potato that I would like to mash. Monty says she wants to cook sweet potatoes. I'm thinking, no, it's just too much time having to peel, chop, and cook all those damn potatoes for 101 people. And then I need ideas for the other side. Can I rub? I think baked beans would be good. I want to do barbecue baked beans. I can make a huge pot of it. We can put it on the heat, and that's good. That's easily 100 portions. We don't have to overthink it, and it will be really great with steak. No. Oh. Is there no, green no beans? Salad. Let's look at it. Yeah, there's green beans. Let's go, let's go look. look. We got green beans right here, too, if you want Let's to do Let's do green beans. Green. And a spicy sauce and a hot sauce. We can use maybe the chilies. I just don't think this reads cowboy enough. Despite concerns from her teammates, Monty has decided that the red team will be serving their steak with sweet potato mash and spicy green beans. She has chosen this menu. If this fails, it's on her. While not everyone on Monty's red team likes her vision for their dish, over on the blue team, Frank is taking a more collaborative approach. Who knows how to make a sauce? I can make a delicious barbecue sauce. Okay, you're good. All right. I can um, make an awesome garlic mash. Okay. Okay. Water. Now vegetables. What do we think? I'm thinking corn. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Sounds good. The blue team has decided on a New York strip steak with garlic mashed potatoes, corn on the cob, and Stacy's barbecue sauce. So a key to the good barbecue sauce that I make is that it's sweet, smoky, and hot. So when you're looking at a steak, what exactly are you uh, looking at? When I looked at those steaks, they were perfect. That ruby red intense color, the marbling, they were perfectly thick. These are some real, real primo steaks. Those steaks are 16 ounce. Thick. So, you know, they've got to be cooked properly. You give a cowboy rare, almost raw steak, then right. they're going to kick up a stink. I made a dry rub, and I'm rubbing down these steaks. They're going to be nice and savory and spicy. I really want to make those cowboys come down to their knees when they bite into this. The Cowboys are just one hour away. On the blue team, Captain Frank has begun the task of pre-searing the steaks. But on the red team, Captain Monty has delegated this crucial task to Becky. Becky, yes. what's going on? Uh, Did you just I take am... control? Did you take Monty's job as <laughs> no, captain? No, absolutely You're not. You're manning the she, grill. You're front and center. She, she's, she's back there cutting beans. Looks like that's what She chose me to man the grill. I asked her if she wanted to do it. She wanted me to do it. So I said, you know, whatever you want. But do you so, agree that, you know, manning the grill is like pole position, that's right? That's what I thought. That's her choice. If she wants to cut vegetables and then put one of her team members on the most important station on the entire freaking challenge, then by all means. As Becky sears off the steaks for the red team, Frank has assigned Christine to grill the corn. But she's left the dry outer husks on. The grill is on fire, guys. It's, I don't know why it's on fire. There's fire. Someone can fire. fire. Corn, please. Come on, then. Don't stand there. You guys have got to move a little bit. Can you help me? If we lose because of this, it's totally coming down on me. The grill is on fire, guys. I got it. I got it. I'm helping you out, Christine. With just 50 minutes remaining before the Cowboys arrive for their MasterChef cookout, the blue team is scrambling to put out the fire from Christine's corn. I put the blind girl on the grill. I can't believe I did that. I didn't know the grill was so damn hot. There we go. It's kind of a bump in the road, but we're getting over it. Sorry, guys. Fire's out. Fire's out. Thanks. Guys, 45 minutes to go. As the blue team tries to salvage Christine's corn, over on the red team, Becky is struggling with the grill. What are you going for here? These are already medium. I'm, I'm not trying to get them to medium. I'm these just are like to... medium, though. I can tell you that right now. Monty, these steaks are all overcooked. They're already medium to medium. Yeah. 
I don't know what the misunderstanding is, but Becky starts cooking the steaks, not just searing them. All over. Josh, I need you to get on the grill, please. We're only given 105 steaks. A quarter of our steaks are overdone. We're oh. Big problem on the red team. Yeah. All the steaks are overcooked. Monty called Josh over, but it might be too late. I yeah. don't know what I kind mean, of damage Becky did already. By the time they've rested, they've been well done. They're well, well done. done. And then Cowboys. heat it up again. They do not want to eat a well done steak, which is crazy. Look at the rhythm of the blue team compared to the red team. I think Frank's leadership is really coming to bear. Yeah. He's in control, and they're taking a cue from his confidence and his cool, and it's permeating the whole team. Mm -hmm. Amazing. 60 minutes gone, 30 minutes to go. You see, this is, this is going to be a problem. Quick, take these out. Look what's on the bottom. While Joe has acknowledged Frank's leadership, he's concerned with the way the blue team is resting their stakes. You can't stack up with steaks. Let me look at this. Yeah. Those steaks in the bottom are like submerged in like an aquarium okay. of blood. See the heat coming off? Yeah. They're basically poaching. They're like going from yep. medium rare to medium. Yeah, all the Rest juices are just coming out. Let me look at this. Yeah. I just, I don't look know where else look, to put it, Joe. You, know you got to I mean? spread them out. Look what the red team's doing. They got steaks all over the place. Yeah. What was before was crispy and caramelized is now kind of gooey, dude. You got to really be careful with this. As Frank tries to rescue his steaks, on the red team, Monty is concerned they won't have enough of one of their side dishes. This is not 100 servings. Do you see how small that plate is and how huge our steak is? Trust me, I was serving last time for that military challenge. We need more potatoes. It's going to be tough getting the potatoes done, but I know that we can do it. Frank! Yes? Have a look at the hill. There you guess. That's a lot of freaking cowboys. Oh, my God. Those cowboys will be arriving any minute now, guys. Careful, chef, top of the left on super no, hot. David, David, my name's <laughs> Ramsey, not Martinez. We need more steaks out here. Do we have another board for steaks? That sauce is delicious. Thank you. Kicking ass and taking names. Let's go, guys. Five minutes to go. Oh, look at that butter sauce, baby. Best whiskey butter sauce I've ever made in my entire life. Woo! Two minutes to go, guys. The Cowboys are coming, guys. And my god, they look hungry. Son of a gun, dude. Welcome, Cowboys. Seeing this line of 101 Cowboys, it's intimidating. It looks like a picturesque Western scene, but it's also very daunting. I'm like, oh, that's a lot of people to feed. Steaks coming in. Yeah! Okay, red team, blue team. Your one hour service begins. Let's go. Woo! Howdy! How are, we doing? How are you? The cowboy cookout has begun. Good to see. You. The 101 cowboys and cowgirls will chow down on dishes from each team and vote for their favorite. Cowboy ribeye today with a little Kentucky whiskey butter. Okay. There you go. Have a good one. Thanks so much. The red team is serving a ribeye, sweet potato mash, and spicy green beans. Hey, how's it going? We have a sweet, smoky barbecue sauce here. Three o'clock. Six o'clock. Here you go. Thank you. Yes, vote team blue. The blue team is serving a New York strip steak with Stacy's sweet and smoky barbecue sauce, garlic mashed potatoes, and grilled corn on the cob. How you doing, cowboys? You have a good ride in? Oh, yeah. Wonderful. Red team or blue team? At the moment, I'm going to have to go with the steak on the uh, red, red team. team. For you? So far, I think I'm going blue team. Here you go. Enjoy. These steaks are so tender. I, I can't believe you can get things like this at Walmart. The blue plate? The steak is incredible. I love it. The sauce is awesome. Is a killer. I'm a sweet potato girl. I love sweet potatoes. Mm. And these are really good. More potatoes, please. More sweet potatoes. Where are the sweet potatoes? That was all we got. Are they cooked? How was your heart? Are they no, cooked? No, they are not cooked. Uh, here we go. It's less than five minutes into service, and despite making two batches of sweet potato mash, the red team is about to run out. We need more sweet potatoes, please. How do you go through a whole hotel pan of potatoes in five minutes? I'm We need more sweet potatoes immediately. Oh, my gosh. My dream of being the greatest team leader alive is plummeting quicker than I can say, holy this is not possible. We are out of sweet potatoes for right now, ladies. 
Oh my god. This is not possible. For this team challenge, the red and blue teams are each serving steaks with two side dishes for 101 cowboys. It's five minutes into service, and already the red team has run out of sweet potato mash. Red team, come here, come here, come here, come here. So, yeah, that means you as well, Becky. Come here. We've served 25 cowboys. We've run out of sweet potatoes. I just find it embarrassing because we all look so stupid. None of you know what's going on. We're going to make it work. We'll we're going to make it work. Whatever sweet potatoes yeah. we can get, Let's we're going to get, get out immediately. Get on it. Monty's main job from the very beginning was sweet potatoes. That was the job that she set for herself. What the hell happened? Please explain to them, Becky and Felix, that we have no starch. We have no starch yeah, right we, now. We, we ran, ran out of our, out our sweet, potatoes. sweet potatoes. No sweet potatoes. No, I'm so sorry. <laughs> sorry. Guys, 45 minutes to go. As the red team scrambles to make more sweet potato mash, the judges check in on the cowboys and girls to see whose food they're liking better. So ladies, you like the blue team or the red teams? I like the blue with the sauce. The barbecue sauce, like you it. like. Blue or red? I like this one. Really? Yeah. Red. Mm -hmm. Blue. Blue. The blue. sauce the is sauce amazing. Is what is it about the blue sauce? Everyone's talking about the blue sauce. I want to put it on both steaks. Oh, right on. Nice Thank job. you, man. I'd say one out of three of those cowboys asked me for my recipe. They want to buy it. They wanted more. California girls know how to make barbecue sauce. It's halfway through I'm service, so sorry, and the red team is still frantically working on a new batch of sweet potato mash as the 101 cowboys begin casting their votes. The first team to 51 votes wins. Just pick up a horseshoe, then please come up and vote. Is it the red team or the blue team? Go blue, go blue, go blue! Red! Start at number one. One at a time, please. Excellent. First vote to the blue. All right, blue. Woo! Woo! Number two, wow, two. Woo! starch today, but hopefully our steak will win you over. I'm going blue. You're lucky number three. Blue all the way. Wow. Please, please, please. Blue again. That's what I'm talking about. People are just going up and it's like blue, 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 and every single time it's just like a shot to my heart. Eight to the blue, zero to the red. Crank Where are you going? In. You're cranking the red. One to the red, finally. God bless you. Another one for the blue. Blue team. I don't know what the blue team is serving. Apparently, it came with a side of gold because the Cowboys loved it. Come on, red team, do not give up. Sir, red, fantastic. Woo, that's it! Blue again! Come on! Is this really happening, man? Are we really this far ahead? It's 12 to 29. Yes! What happened over there? What the f did they cook? No, I'm so sorry that we ran out of our sweet potato puree, you guys. Come in with the potatoes. Woo, no, love it. Yes. With plenty of cowboys left to serve, the red team finally has more sweet potato mash, while Joe discovers that the blue team's popularity is slipping. The blue, maybe a little bit too overcooked. Yeah, the blue plate, uh, you know, I like it to be less cooked. That's how I like it, so. Here you go, there you go, thank you so much. Funny enough, Frank, the only complaint I'm getting is on your station, the steaks are overcooked. I'm doing the best I can, Joe. Well, you better do better, okay. not happy people. I've never cooked so many steaks in my life. It's overwhelming to sit there in front of a grill and have 40 steaks going at once. So now I'm a little bit worried about that. Nobody likes an overcooked steak, man. If I ruin the steaks, I us. What are you feeling? Reds versus blues? This just really hits home, and the green beans are fabulous, too. So all three at this table are going red. Yes. Beautiful. Red! Yes! Go on, baby! Another one for the red yeah! table! Yeah! Thank you! I'm going to go with the red plate. Whoa! Red again! We're at 40, and then red starts getting a comeback. They're like 20, 25, 30. Like, what the f is going on? Come back for the comeback, kids! It's the final minutes of the Cowboy Cookout, and all plates are out. Now, both teams wait anxiously for the final votes. It's still up for grabs, guys. Let's go! So service ends. And it's kind of like blue, 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 red, red, blue, 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 red, red. They have a significant lead on us, but I, I'm absolutely not giving up. 36 for the red team and 49 for the blue team. Come on, two more, two more. The blue team needs just two more votes to win the team challenge. Can the red team make one last dramatic comeback?
Cowboy, where are we going? Red or blue? Blue! 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 Come on, Cowboy! Yeah! One small vote for the blue team. And Frank would have led his team to victory. Where are you going, sir? Cowgirl, if you vote blue team, the red team will be facing a pressure test where one of them will be leaving MasterChef. Come on, please, please, please. Red team or blue team? I really couldn't do it without this team, though. Everybody brought their A game. Everybody made something that they have passion for, and that's the reason why we won. Red team, unfortunately, you must face the dreaded pressure test. I think we would have wanted Frank was the leader because Frank clearly had the better ideas. This menu was 10 times better than Monty's. Yeah, one in four chance of going home, and that, ugh, God, it makes my stomach hurt even thinking about it. After winning the team challenge, the home cooks from the blue team take to the balcony, while the losing red team awaits a pressure test where one contestant will be sent home. Going into the pressure test, I feel like I deserve it. I have absolutely put together the worst performance of leadership in the history of MasterChef. Come down and stand in front, please. Thank you. We lost, but I busted my ass. I did not question my leader. I'm not at fault, you know? <sighs> it's now time for you to compete in another pressure test. And when it's done, at least one of you will be eliminated from MasterChef. There are four of you, but only three of you will be fighting out in the pressure test. The choice of who gets immunity is up to you four. The four of you are going to head into the wine room now. You're going to come out here with one name, the one person that you feel that does not deserve to face this intense pressure test. You got it? Got it, sir. Let's go. So immediately I'm taking myself out of the equation. I feel like Felix performed the best yesterday, and I would like her to have safety. I disagree. Felix, what did you actually do? I rubbed down the steaks. I peeled and cut potatoes. OK, I had my hands in everything. I started the butter for the butter sauce. I seasoned, I tasted. I asked what needed to be done. She really did try to fill in the gaps. And I when... think we all did a little bit, though. I mean, like, you guys I feel responsible for this. I think all of us made mistakes yesterday, but I think Felix made the least. I disagree. Felix isn't really saying much because she knows deep down in her heart that she didn't do and she shouldn't have that immunity. Becky, who do you think should have immunity? I'm going to say myself just because I think that I did everything that I could. Becky, you cooked off 25 steaks. Well done. You didn't tempt them. And I had to switch you out with Josh because you couldn't handle it. I, I don't think tempting. we switched out because I couldn't handle it. We switched That's... out because it was 100 steaks. No. Let's go. We need a name. OK, would the person you have all agreed that should be safe please step forward? OK, Felix, you are safe. Please join the gallery. I'm sorry, you guys. It's all good. I feel like I was the workhorse of the group, and I really helped keep the team together. 
Felix wasn't a critical part of our team. Under this cloche will be one of your undoing, the simplest of ingredients. That's right, we're giving you each six amazing, delicious eggs. And you're gonna give us one perfect soft boiled egg, one impeccable sunny side up fried egg, one stunning perfect poached egg, and then one absolutely phenomenal three egg omelette. Got it? Yes. <laughs> cooking a perfect egg is culinary school 101, but cooking six in four different preparations all time to perfection, that's the kind of skill that's required of a master chef. Take a deep breath and head back to your stations. Here's the thing about eggs. They are big time bitches. You can overcook an egg in five seconds. You have to time it to the second or you are going home. In just over 20 minutes, one of you will be leaving the MasterChef kitchen. Six eggs, no extras, no backups. Your time starts. Now. All three home cooks now just have 20 minutes to prepare one sunny side up egg, one poached egg, one soft boiled egg, and a three egg omelet. This is a tough one. This really is tough. 20 minutes, 20 six minutes. eggs, no room for air. Every day I come into this kitchen, I gotta put everything I have, and uh, that's what I'm gonna do today. I don't believe I deserve to be in this press chest, but it is what it is. You gotta do what you gotta do. Who do you think's been the most comfortable here? I think, you know, Josh. I just imagine, that, you know, yeah, they just got some breakfast it. skills. I think that Becky has the inherent skill that she's very angry. If she lets that anger control her cooking technique, it might be jeopardy. All right, Josh, how are you feeling? Feeling great, Chef. Which egg are you most worried about? The poached egg. Never poached an egg. I love my eggs sunny side up, so. You sound down, deflated. Come on, keep it up, yeah? Yes, sir. OK. Just coming up to five minutes gone. Come on, Monty. Hello. How are you? I'm doing OK. I'm a little nervous. I don't uh, usually eat sunny side up eggs. I just do, like, over easy eggs. But you want to go home. Monty, because I think she's my biggest competition right now. Good luck. Just put that in. Yes, sir. Which egg are you most worried about? I'm worried about my soft boil. You think you could be going home? No, sir, I'm not going home today, no, sir. Last 10 minutes, here we go. The perfect poached egg. You get the water, you season it like a touch of vinegar in there. Mm -hmm. Crack the egg into a ramekin and then drop the egg into the water mm -hmm. as it rolls around. It forms almost like a sort of mozzarella ball. Mm -hmm. Becky, trim me out. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Good looking egg, Josh. She just put the egg in boiling water. You gotta start those cold. Just coming up to five minutes to go. The risk for a home cook is like, look around, see who's got the flames up the highest. That's going to be the person who's going to lose, because the loser in this game is high heat. And Monty's got all her burners on full blast. The last two minutes, two minutes to go. The time is going by so fast, and I still don't have any eggs cooked. 90 seconds to go. I'm not going home on an egg, dude. I'm not going home on an egg. In this pressure test, three of the four home cooks from the losing team are cooking six eggs four different ways in just 20 minutes to see who stays and who leaves the Master Chef kitchen. 30 seconds to go. Looks good, Becky. Come on, Monty. Oh, I should be taking the eggs out of the pan now. What's Monty doing? Monty. 10, 9, 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Hands in the air. Good job, guys. 
bring your eggs to the front bench, please. I know I have two beautiful eggs, one disgusting looking omelet, and one beautiful looking sunny side up egg with raw egg whites on it. Salmonella. That's what I want to give the judges today. Okay. Monty. Yes, sir. So the sunny side up, let's start with that one, shall we? It's got this rawness to the top. How come that's still raw? It didn't cook long enough. It's a shame. Tastes nice. Uh, but you've got some unwanted goo, right? Yes, sir. Yes, man, please. I hope everything else is just as raw as that one. Omelets. It looks very flat. It looks more like a sort of crepe from here. Tastes nice. It's just a little bit too flat. Poached egg. How long do you poach it for? Three minutes. Mm -hmm. So I'm expecting that to sort of just open up and almost spill. I hope so, sir. Beautiful. Yep. Nicely seasoned. Runny. Tastes nice. Good. Soft boiled egg. Perfectly executed and timed to perfection. Good job. Thank you, sir. Interesting. The uh, post was done beautifully. The soft boiled egg, yeah, that was perfect. Hi, Becky. Hi, Chef. So, the sunny side up, the fried egg. Mm -hmm. The first thing I'm looking at is the yolk, sunny side up, right? I mean, it should look like a beautiful sunny day. And, uh, and you know, it looks like a cloudy day. It's absolutely fried. The egg is shrunk up. You know, the whites have, have seized. Great flavor, but definitely chewy due to the cook. The omelet looks like it would come out of any four-star kitchen. It's beautiful. Yeah, that's, that's like sex on a plate. That creamy texture, it, it's wonderful. Beautiful omelet. All right, so the poached. You should be able to pierce it and just see it explode. It's got a definite wow factor. <sighs> you can almost take the egg and... It's a great poached egg. Be soft boiled. It all rests on this now. I think that the worst thing would be is if I served them a hard boiled egg instead of a soft boiled egg. That soft boiled egg, that could be what keeps me here, sends me home. It really could. It's such a wild card. It's almost an unboiled egg, not a soft boiled egg. That's a shame. That's embarrassing. The omelet was incredible. And listen, even if you don't eat soft boiled eggs at this point, you need to know how to cook one, right? You need to know. OK, Josh, which of the eggs are you most proud of? I had to say the omelet. What do you think of your fried egg? I'm pretty satisfied with it. How often do you make fried eggs? Pretty often. You think the yolk will be completely runny in the middle when I cut it? Yes. Right you are. That is a perfectly cooked sunny side egg. It's delicious. The omelet. You think we're gonna get fluffiness in the middle or am I gonna see like a dense custardy omelet? It will be fluffy. Ooh. 
That's a fluffy omelet. This is fried custard. And it tastes like fried custard. Damn, man, I hope these other two eggs are cooked just right. Right now, it's anybody's game. So when I cut through in the poached, I should see runny yolk, and then the white should be soft, but not like a hard-boiled egg. Exactly. I'd love to have a little bit more delicacy. The egg white here, it looks pretty violently boiled. For me, the whole process is basically 30 to 45 seconds gone too far. Okay, to the boil. We've had one perfect soft boil, one raw soft boil. I'm feeling nervous. I'm just hoping the soft boiled egg is cooked through because that's probably my only saving grace right now. What's happening inside this egg could determine who wins a quarter million dollars. I'm petrified. If that egg is bad, I think I might have a chance. But if his egg is perfect, I'm going to be going home. The judges have tasted all the eggs but one in this pressure test. Josh's soft-boiled egg could decide which contestant is sent home. What's happening inside this egg could determine who wins a quarter million dollars. is raw cold. The white is not even cooked at all. If you like cold egg yolks and undercooked egg whites, maybe. But for the rest of us, it's raw. It's very nice. My only solace right now is that maybe Josh screwed up his eggs worse than I did. I'm nowhere near ready to go home, but this last egg may have just been my ticket home. Monty, step forward, please. Those last 20 minutes in that pressure test showed us great flair, great composure. Monty, go upstairs to the balcony. Well done. Thank you. Great job. Good job, man. I'm so relieved to be safe, but you know, I've never had good news feel so awful. <laughs> I led these people into a disaster of a situation, and now somebody's going home. <laughs> Becky, everybody in this competition feels that you are a threat, a serious contender for the top three, perhaps even the final. We are shocked that an egg has got the better of you. Joshua, the level of knowledge that you have for a 24-year-old cannot be matched in a top-flight kitchen, yet you're an amateur. Becky, please take a step forward. That was a tough 20 minutes. It's the hardest 20 minutes of my life, Sean. This is my dream. There's nothing else that I want more right now. And I made an error in this pressure test, and I let the pressure get to me, and that will not ever, ever happen again. Becky, please take your apron. Upstairs. <gasps> Listen, let me tell you something. That has been a very tough and bloody horrible decision to make. Why? 
because you've blown us away, you know that. I don't care what it is you want from me, but you've got me the minute you walk out that door. Whether it's time in my kitchen, whether it's help, or even for ideas, you give me a call. You deserve it. Truly appreciate that. Well done. Good job. I'm proud of my performance, proud of everything I did so far in this competition, and um, I have no reason to hang my head. Yes, it's hard. Yes, it's bloody awkward. But who's going to win MasterChef? Uh, I honestly can't wait to try Christine's cookbook. <laughs> I feel like my food knowledge and my skills and abilities have increased tremendously being here. It's a huge opportunity to be able to learn directly from amazing chefs and restaurateurs. Just because I'm leaving MasterChef today doesn't mean that I'm not going to pursue my dream. and doesn't mean I'm going to stop cooking. I'm still going to be myself and cook my ass off. I guess harder and harder and harder. Damn. Tomorrow night on MasterChef. Shut your mouth! The mystery box reveals a mystery guest. Paula Dean! Hey, yo! As the queen of the culinary world becomes judge for the day. Hi, Paula. <laughs> mm. Put some south in your mouth. But then... It's all out war in a chaotic tag team challenge. Check on the tag. No, 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 they're to your left. Where? Oh, my God. And another home cook leaves the MasterChef kitchen. One potato, two potato.